Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to talk about the week of September 14th through the 18th. Um, give you a little introduction here and overview of what you need to be doing for this week. So if you look at our modules for this week, I changed it a little bit um, in that I added the assignments below the week. So here's the weekly guide, the weekly assignment guide like normal, and then the we have the assignments that you need to complete this week are below. So if you look at this weekly assignment guide, uh, we're starting biology this week. Uh, and so we're going to start off by the characteristics of life in class. So our first first uh, task for in class is the characteristics of life. And we're going to talk about what it actually means for something to be uh, living or non-living or dead. And it's actually a little more complicated question than what you might think. Um, and so we're going to do a little activity with this and there's going to be a little quiz with that as well. And that will be done in class. Okay. And the third thing we're going to do in class here this week is we're actually going to go uh, outside as, uh, as the weather permits us to do so. We're going to go outside and try to find some examples um, of some living, non-living, um, and dead things that we can find around our school. And so that's going to be the in-class day, um, the in-person day that you have this week. For our virtual assignments this week, um, we're going to have a Freyer vocab. Uh, so what a Freyer vocab is, let me bring this assignment up here. So a Freyer vocab, what you guys are going to do is you are going to pick six vocabulary words from the unit one in your book. And you're, what you're going to do is you're going to write the word that you pick right here. You're going to write the definition in your own words. That's important in your own words. Um, you're going to draw a picture of it. I'd like you to draw a picture and not just insert a picture. Okay, I know the pictures, you're not going to be graded on your artwork. They may not be great on an iPad. Trying to draw is difficult, but do as best you can. And then you're going to write a sentence. You're going to use your vocabulary word in a sentence, but it has to be a sentence that under that shows your understanding of the word. And so you cannot write, my vocabulary word is organism, for example. I want you to tell me what an organism is within your sentence. Okay, so you're going to choose six different words um, that you have here. You're going to choose six words, and if you look, the six words you can choose from, there are ten words listed here. You can choose six of those, any six of those that you would like to, to do. You can find those words from pages 6 through 30 in your textbook, in your Module B textbook. Okay? <clears throat> so after you finish with the Freyer vocab, the second we have, you're actually going to work on those pages in, the, in your textbook, some pages in your textbook. What I'd like you to do is first read through those and try to answer the questions. So you're going to read through your text and you're going to answer the questions that are there. And so what you're going to do, you're going to start on page 4. You're going to answer the number question number one on page four, and then you're going to go questions number one through nine on pages five through nine. After you finish that, I want you to watch this video here. This is uh, actually Mr. Ridinghouse, the Seven Green Science teacher. He's going to show you uh, talk about this a little more in depth and show you a few things. And then I want you to work on pages ten or numbers ten through thirteen on pages ten through twelve. And then following after you finish those, following that, you're going to do the video again. Okay. The third thing you get this week is a Newzella article. You're going to read a Newzella, Newzella article about um, a bug is making you miserable. Is it alive? Okay, you have a fun little article. There's a link to the quiz. The quiz is in Canvas, so you can take that quiz. And then finally, there's going to be a quiz over just the material this week. Okay, so you're going to read one more Newzella article, and you're going to complete this quiz on Canvas. And you have multiple attempts at those quizzes this week. All right. Like always, if you have any questions, please just send me a message. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all the hard work, and keep it up.